Hello my dear friends, this is your friend Dr. Suresh and we here and welcome to Aspire 32. Today I am going to speak about advanced dental admission test. Uh, actually this exam came in 2016 and I gave it uh, I think in this the first month and um, let us try to understand wha what is advanced dental admission test which is commonly called as ADAT and why it is uh, spoken a lot nowadays. Uh, we all know that in US if you want to get into the advanced standing program or so called DDS program for international students which is of 2 to 3 years depending on the dental school where you want to get into you have to appear for the NBD which is now called as INBD. Now many years before the NBD had a scoring pattern that means uh, they used to tell you how much you have scored and I think more than 75 was passing. But then a um, few years later they uh, only started telling you whether you are pass, you have passed the exam or you have failed the exam. And uh, it is not uh, as simple as it looks because they do something called as normalization. Normalization means maybe a difficult question will have two marks whereas a simple question may have less marks and depending on how many students have answered they plot and maybe that is how they uh, assess the difficulty and then the scoring is decided. Uh, but then there was only pass or fail and uh, then in 2016 they started this advanced dental admission test. Now what is difference between advanced dental admission test and NBDE is that advanced dental admission test again has a scoring in it. It has scoring in it uh, that means you will get their individual scores uh, in, uh, in their uh, exam of advanced dental admission test. Now what is different apart from the scoring is that in uh, advanced dental admission test there are four sections that is one is the basic and then is the clinical then is the statistics or research oriented and then there is a ethical part and each section you have marks like for example they will tell you how much you have scored overall and uh, how much you have scored in basic statistics and uh, the separate section. Now what was the logic of introducing this advanced dental admission test? Uh, the idea was suppose you want to get into some program where it is more focused about research. So the uh, program director or the school has uh, a chance to only assess or combine maybe a basic knowledge, clinical knowledge and research or maybe you want to go to a clinical residency program or any program then they can only select clinical aspect but you will be tested overall. And then you have this uh, individual scoring also. So that was that is why the advanced dental test uh, admission test was introduced to give the freedom for the dental schools uh, in order to assess the uh, you know the applicant specifically with their need. Now. Uh, when it was introduced also uh, it generally advanced ad admission test doesn't happen throughout the year uh, but NBDE happens throughout the year and the fees for the advanced dental admission test also also less compared to the NBDE and I think there is a concession also for specific people uh, with if they if they meet the requirement and um, NBDE uh, you can attempt even if you have failed maybe I think three times uh, there are some specific requirements but uh, I add once you appear uh, the next year you have to give a specific reason as per their instruction which is published on their website. Now why is that uh, this uh, IN ADAT is in focus now is because in Canada if you want to get into the uh, uh, Toronto to do dentistry they are asking uh, for this ADAT and that's why ADAT has become very popular otherwise in 2016 when I gave my NBDE and ADAT nobody even uh, thought about you know ask me what is this ADAT exam. So that is it. Uh, if you want to know more about it, please mention in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye for now.